Eurozone leaders will meet in Brussels for another round of talks on the economics massive blocks massive debts. But this time, perhaps instead of finding things to cut, perhaps they'll consider ways to make their economies grow. The debate between nations such as France, which of course supports stimulus and the backers of austerity, Germany, has been simmering for months. There's some hope that a consensus can be reached. Still, with so much debt and so little capital available, the options to create growth are limited. Je suis le président de la jeunesse de France. François Hollande's presidential victory in France this month didn't just change the political landscape there, it's changing the debate in Europe, putting some key proposals once rejected by Germany back on the table. Coordination of Italy's Prime Minister Mario Monti says the Greek crisis calls for a new approach. Whatever is achieved on Greece in this very difficult situation will not uh, really allow Europe and the Eurozone to breathe unless a more substantive uh, agenda for growth is decided upon in Europe to accompany fiscal consolidation. So there are several ideas on the table for today's informal summit. French President Hollande's Eurobonds idea. This was raised at the G8 meeting at the weekend in the US. And the proposal is to issue bonds jointly underwritten by all Eurozone members. A proposal raised before and supported by, among others, Italy's Prime Minister. But it's been rejected in the past by Germany. The other issue on the table, the state of Europe's banks. One option is to empower the European Stability Mechanism, the Eurozone's 500 billion euro rescue fund, to directly recapitalize troubled national banks. Again, Germany disagrees with that proposal. Also on the agenda, the firewall, how to stop the financial problems in Greece from spreading. And finally, how sustainable are the debt levels of some of the Eurozone member states? Should growth now be the watchword, not austerity? I'm also encouraged by the outcome of the G8 Leaders Summit last week and the leaders resolved to promote growth and jobs while supporting sound and sustainable fiscal consolidation policies. Hence uh, my position certainly a couple of weeks ago in Zurich that growth versus austerity is a stale and fails debate. Today's meeting is an informal one. The hope is that there will be progress in time for some concrete agreement at the official summit at the end of June.